Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. 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 Okay, great. Great. Well, uh, we are usually uh, following a, a pattern, our model, right? when we speak. <clears throat> and when we talk about the habits or the things we have, when we describe something, we use the simple present, right? Usamos generalmente el presente simple, right? When we describe, when we talk about the activities we do or we don't, yeah? We are, you, always um, informing someone and also talking to someone, right? So, the question they always ask at the beginning, right? ¿Y vos qué haces vos? O sea, ¿por dónde trabajas? Yeah? What do you do? Where do you work? All right? Or, for example, if you don't work or if you don't study, for example, right? You will say, and where do you study? If you say that you are a study. Uh, where do you study? I study in university. Ah, uh -huh. in the university. Great. Which university? And then you have more questions after that one. But when we want to say something that we don't do, or another person doesn't do, there it becomes, I mean, it comes the confusion sometimes, okay? Así que vamos a tratar el día de hoy negative statements in the simple present. Negative statements in the simple present. And this is to talk about the things we don't have, things we don't possess, or don't do. They are not related to us in any kind of responsibility. It's not our job to do those things, okay? To do those things. All right, so allow me to introduce the class, yeah? Allow me to introduce the class and remember, in about five minutes, I'm going to call the roll. Remember me, yeah, remind me that. Okay, people, the first thing is to introduce our objectives and our agenda for today. Here we go. When we want to say the things we don't do or she doesn't do, we use the negative statements. And here they are. Okay. Negative statements. Statements. Okay. These are in the simple present. We use an auxiliary verb, and this is what we are going to study. All right. Welcome everybody to your video conference number four. Okay. The objective of studying this is that we, you, will be able to make negative sentences in the present tense. Negative sentences. Remember, in the negative, we use don't and doesn't. Okay? This is what we are going to uh, 
focus our class today. The agenda for today is that, well, we presented the objective. We have this role play conversation. Uh, we did it yesterday, so we are going to change that, this activity. We want to talk about someone else's activity. Okay, we want to talk about someone else's activities. So it means third person. Then we want to develop the simple present negative statements, how to use them, how to answer questions in a negative form, and the breakup rooms we are going to talk about money, right? Talking about money, but not exactly the amounts, okay? But the work perks, okay? Work perks. And the session one-on-one -on -one today is for the number four, all right? Today we have that. Okay, people, before going to any other thing, we are going to change the activity uh, <clears throat> of the feedback, and I will send you an image, okay? I will send you an image in this very moment. Okay, here we go. We'll do a feedback about the countable and non-countable nouns. Here we are. I sent the image because I cannot show it because of the copyrights, all right? I send the image to you. And let's do it together. Let's read it together. What are we going to do here? Mm. Countable nouns can mm, become plural, okay? They are affected by the number. They are affected by one, two, three, four, and those are plural nouns, okay? To, uh, to make a noun plural, you just add letter S. Do you see in the, in the picture I sent? Do you see the picture? You add S or you add ES, okay? You add S or add ES. For countable nouns, when they become plural, to make plurals. But the uncountable nouns, they cannot. They cannot add as plurals, okay? We cannot. So let's go and do this exercise, yeah? Do you see the number? Well, let's look at the example, yeah? The example says, Rebecca has brown hair. Can we add a letter S? Or hair is countable or hair is non-count noun? What do you think? And then it says, and hazel eyes. Right, eyes, we add letter S because we can count. We have one, two eyes, all right? Pero tenemos el detalle con el pelo, ¿verdad? Nosotros decimos el pelo, el cabello, ¿sí? Y decimos el, ¿da que no decimos los cabellos, los pelos? O sea, no lo decimos así en español. En inglés pasa algo similar, digamos. Si decimos a hair, 
por ejemplo, que en su sopa hay un cabello, ahí sí lo puedo contar porque es uno, ¿ya? Pero ya cuando estoy con la cabellera, ¿sí? No le pongo, eh, no, no se puede, no entra entre los contables. Entonces, quiere decir que hay nombres que cumplen las dos funciones. Puede ser contable y puede ser incontable. Ayer vimos el de times, ¿ya? How many times do you check your email? Pero también yo les puedo decir, how many time do you check your email? I'm sorry, how much time do you check your email? Tengo que cambiar el many por el much. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy hablando de la cantidad de tiempo en que usted pasa metido en el email. Entonces, son cosas bien distintas, pero es un solo nombre, una sola palabra, ¿sí? Eso es lo que hay que tener un poquito de cuidado con los non counts. Bien, vamos a ver entonces el número uno. Let's look at number one. Rowan had meat, rice, vegetable, and some milk for dinner. ¿A cuáles le podemos poner S como plural o ES? ¿Y cuáles se quedan sin cambio? Rice. Meat. Ajá. Rice es contable sí, o sí, incontable? Not contable. Ok, ya. Yeah. Non count because it's food, right? Mm -hmm. Non count. Yeah. Meat is countable or non count? Non count because it's food too. Okay. Vegetable. Vegetable. Countable. Countable. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Countable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to add. Letter S, right? Letter S, because it ends in a letter E. Ya termina en una E, entonces solo le agrego la S. And some milk. ¿Le ponemos plural? No, right? No change. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Number two. Change or no change? A ver, leamos la número dos. Let's read the number two. Share your food. Ah, bueno, está compartiendo pantalla. A mí no me sale. No, sí, que no he compartido que tengo pantalla. Esa curiosidad. No, les envié la imagen en el WhatsApp y en el chat aquí en Zoom. Este no lo puedo mostrar por los copyrights. Yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Tiene que unirse usted. A ver, alguien tiene el link para que se lo enviemos por acá por el chat. Pero ya lo voy a traer por acá. Usted solito se tiene que unir al chat. A ver, permítame. Ok, eh, Francisco fue, ¿verdad? Francisco. Usted no está unido, dice. Ahí puede unirse en el link que acabo de enviar. Thank you. Okay. Desmontando mitos en la historia. Ok, podemos hacer number two. Yes, teacher. Number two is not. Number two is not. 
I'm sorry, es que alguien tiene muy fuerte su tele en casa y definitivamente nos pueden bajar el video, ¿verdad? Por ese audio que Uncountable, se oye. uncountable. Number two. Uh -huh. Aquí están ensayando en la casa. Ah, ok, ok. Vale, vamos a ver. Number three. Pero en el suyo no se oye, Sergio. Así que no se preocupe, que bailen ahí. <ríe> ok. Contable. Contable, the student. ¿Y qué le, qué le agregamos? ¿Es o es? Es. Letter S, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teacher. Uh -huh. E S. E is. E S. O solo S. Ok, pero es que estamos en la número 3. We are in number 3. Y las que ah, okay. vamos a, a buscar el cambio. Es en las que están como en, en cursiva, ¿verdad? Solo la palabra que está en cursiva es la que vamos a ver si es count o non-count. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Entonces, veamos. The students learned a lot of new vocabulary in class today. Vocabulary. Can we count? Or is a known count? Vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Uncountable. Non count, uncountable. Yes. Uh, so no change, right? No change. We oh. ate some sandwich for lunch. Add. Uncountable. Or no. Hmm? Uh, yes. Yeah, countable. Uh -huh. Entonces, countable. ¿qué le agregamos para hacerlo plural? Y es. Es. Y es. Ok. E -S. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría? We ate sandwiches. Some sandwiches for lunch. Vale, acordémonos. Yes. Aquí la idea es que practiquemos la pronunciación, que hablemos, que lo digamos, porque si solo decimos y es, ok, ahí quedamos, sí, se entiende que usted dijo la respuesta, pero cuando yo pregunto y cómo queda, hay que decir la oración completa, ok. Vale, seguimos con la otra. Which is the other one? Number four, right? No, number five. I have. Number five. Contable. I have a lot of homework to, the, to do tonight. Okay. Well, homework is a non-count or a countable noun? Count. Count. Countable. Fíjense que no. Countable. En inglés. No. Countable. 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 Ajá. Es uncountable. Eh, en inglés no podemos decir una tarea, dos tareas como en español. Por eso ayer hablábamos de los conceptos, ¿verdad? Hay cosas que son eh, contables para ellos y para nosotros, ¿no? Y así viceversa, ¿verdad? Homework es una palabra que no es contable, ¿ok? Es non-count. Por eso no hay cambio. Ahí no podemos decir eh, una tarea, dos tareas, tres, no. We can't, ¿ok? Vamos a decir, some homework, a lot of homework, many, I'm sorry, much homework, eh, some, yeah, like that. But we can count one, two, three. And home, eh, homework. No change. Mm -hmm. No change. Homework, no plural. I like to dream about tropical beach. Mm-hmm. Countable or non-countable? No countable. Non -countable. Non-countable, okay. Beach is not countable? Yes, it is. It's countable. So we can say the beach, a beach. We can say um, two beaches, okay? We can say ES over there, okay? okay? I like to dream about tropical beaches, okay? 
pero aquí no le vayan a pronunciar como nosotros pronunciamos la che en español. En español, bueno, en salvadoreño, nosotros le hacemos ch, ¿ya? Pero no, aquí si no se va a oír una mala palabra. Entonces hay que hacer un sonido normal de la che. Beach, miren, Be, beach, no, no beach. la otra. Eso, that's correct. Entonces tenemos que agregarle es beaches, beaches, ok, beaches. Number seven, Rodolfo. Uh -huh. Contable. Picture Countable. Countable. Uh -huh. Entonces, Countable. ¿cómo queda? Add yes. pictures. 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 Uh -huh. eh, the whole sentence. Rodolfo. To Look some great uh, pictures, pictures at the family, family reunion, reunion last week. Last week. Last week. Yes. Number eight. Countable. Countable? Progress? Can we count progress? Un progreso, dos progresos, tres progresos. Uncountable. Uncountable. It's uncountable. 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 It's uncountable. Uh -huh. So we say Milton has made a lot of progress, no change, on his project since he started Monday. Okay. Vamos a ver todos, digamos esa oración. Milton has made a lot of progress. Milton has made a lot of progress on his project since he started Monday. Since he started Monday. Okay? Since he started Monday. A ver todos. Since he, he, he started Monday. 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 Desde que empezó el lunes, ¿verdad? Eso quiere decir, eso es tiempo pasado. Vamos a ver, enciclopedia. Is it countable or non-countable? You tell me. Countable. Okay, so. Countable. Countable uh -huh. nouns. Uh -huh. No countable. Non-countable or countable? Non-countable. Non-countable. Mm. Por, teacher, porque mm -hmm. sonaría igual, ¿verdad? Una enciclopedia, dos enciclopedias. Yes. Uh -huh. y, 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 y tendríamos que decir el libro, un libro, dos libros, tres libros. <laughs> si fuera así. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, no, this is countable. Yeah, this is countable. Yeah, Cyclopedia countable. Mm -hmm. Yes, the problem is that sometimes we cannot add just letter S. Okay, this is the problem sometimes. For example, eh, ¿han visto ustedes que en el idioma español hay algunos eh, plurales irregulares que no solamente llevan una S o, o ES, sino que tienen una o otra? Por ejemplo, el reino de los hongos. Ese es el reino fungi. Ah, fungi sería como el, el plural, ¿verdad? De los hongos. Eh, ¿Qué otro podría decirles que...? que puede ser así, por ejemplo, ah, eh, bueno, en español no me recuerdo ninguno, pero en inglés, por ejemplo, los irregulares pueden ser, cuando decimos woman, decimos women para plural, men, decimos man, decimos men para plural, child, decimos children para plural, y así es totalmente irregular. Enciclopedia puede usarse de las dos maneras. Puede eh, usarse como enciclopedias, con, with the letter S, o agregar a E, enciclopedie, enciclopedie, ¿ok? Se puede usar con la letra S o con a E al final, pero ese es otro, ¿ok? Otro tipo como irregulares. Pero sí. Es contable. Yes, it's countable. 
All right, and you add letter S. You add letter S. Number 10. Mm -hmm. Uncountable. 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 Okay, can you count um, the words? One word, two words, uh, three contable. words. Yes, it's countable. Contable. Yes. Entonces, si le podemos hacer plural, ¿verdad? What's yes. the way to um, make this plural? Word, words. Yes. Letter S. Yes. Eleven. I learn. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. I learn more. I learn more new words. Words. New new words in English class every day. Yes, correct. Thank you very much. Is this Francisco? I'm sorry that I am not in the other screen. Uh, uh, who was who was participating? I'm sorry. Was it Francisco Javier? Yeah. Francisco Javier, usted me dio la respuesta, sí, verdad? <laughs> Es que de repente me quedé sin ver por acá. ¿Alguien me Pero, puede decir quién? ¿Sí? No. Sí, ¿verdad? Ok, yes, it was you. It Pero, was you. I'm sorry. <laughs> es que no miraba para esta pantalla y estaba con tres pantallas para allá. Pero ok, here we go. Here we go. Eh, tres pantallas. Es una sola pantalla con tres ventanas. <laughs> tres pantallas. La tira. A ver, ¿dónde vio mi tres? <laughs> okay, let's continue. What number are we in? What number are we? 11. 11, okay. So, what's the 11? Contable. Contable. Mm -hmm. Contable, teacher. Okay, what is countable? The dollars? The million. Millions. Uh, millions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Si fuera solo millions, eh, sí. Le pondríamos la S. Millones. Pero en este caso no, porque el que estoy contando son los seis. ¿Verdad? Los y seis dólares. millones. Exacto. Entonces, este es yes. six million dollars. A dólares le pongo la S, ¿sí? Si no lleva a dólares, yo dijera six millions, ¿ok? Pero lleva dólares y es importante. Yeah. It's very important. So, six million dollars. Entonces, no change. No change. ¿Cómo quedaría entonces? A ver, leámosla. Two mansion costs. The new mansion costs six million dollars. I will I a million, million of dollars. dollars. Yeah. Ah, ahí sí le tenemos que poner, miren. Ajá. Porque no tiene el número. Exactly. Y estamos hablando en plural, dollars. Entonces dice, I had millions of dollars. Ok, ahí sí. Hay que agregarle letter S. Y dice Todo que digo. tiene muchos millones, va. Exactamente, no, no que desearía tener. Ay, ojalá yo tuviera, quiere decir. Ajá. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I wish I had. I have millions. <laughs> millions of dollars, yeah. I have millions of debts. <laughs> millions of debts. Okay, de deudas, ¿no? nada más, debts. All right, continue, people. Number 12. Uncountable. Okay. Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. Clothing. Uncountable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uncountable. Yeah. No change, right? No change. What about oh. jewelry? Jewelry. At the end. Jewelry. Jewelry. Uh huh. Jewelry. Joyería. Joyas. Jewelry. No change. No change. Mm -mm. Jewelry is uh, referring to 
one to one piece of jewelry to a lot of pieces of jewelry. Okay. It says Carrie bought some new clothing today. I bought some new jewelry. Okay, como quedaría? Leanmelo. Carrie. I bought some new jewelry. Jewelry. Esa no es jewelry, es jewelry. Jewelry. Eso significa joyas o joyería. Ok, 13. Contable. Contable. Yes, because we have two feet, right? So we need two shoes, and then you can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Shoes. Five, nine, ten, shoes. Shoes. Yes. Yes. And, and usually they are they are in plural, usually because we have two feet. Because you don't buy Shoes. only one shoe, right? You, you buy a pair of shoes. Yeah. So take that in mind. Yes. Carrie bought a new pair of shoes. Letter S, right? Letter S. I bought a new set of earrings. ¿Le pongo o no le pongo S? Yes. Yes. Yes, because we have two ears, two earrings. With a letter S. Earrings. Rings. Yeah, with a letter S. Fourteen. Contable. 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 Okay. Contable. Can we count Contable. the years? Yes, we can, Count. right? Uh-huh. Years so, contable. One years, two years. Exactly. Tommy is 22 years old. I'm 30. I like being a 30 years old okay are we okay so far and then number 15 contable. 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 yes we can count one car two cars three cars right okay como quedaría entonces at there are a lot of cars on the highway. It usually takes about two hours. Two hours. Okay. Ahí le faltó el two hours. It usually takes us about two hours. Two hours. Okay. There we go. Rush hour is la hora pico, right? La hora de más tráfico. También es la hora, rush hour es la, es una hora eh, puntual o a la que hemos llegado y que ese es el momento y no hay más que ese momento. That's rush hour. All right. Are we okay, guys? Is there any question? No, teacher. Okay. Teacher, uh, every... Mm -hmm. Earrings. Earrings. ¿Cuál es la, la definición? O, o... Aritos. Aritos. Ok, divirtámonos un poquitito más y ahí va la otra, ¿sí? Ay, es que aquí sale cortado. Uh, 
Ok, ahorita se las pongo ahí. Este es bien fácil. Aquí solo vamos a poner how much y how many. Ok. How much or how many? Vamos todos. How much or how many? How much or how many? Mm -hmm. La primera, how many? I don't need to get there. How many cats mm -hmm. are there? No entiende muy bien. Are how there many cats the are there in the garden? Teacher no le envió aquí a Zoom. Hay muchos gatos en el jardín. ¿Cuántos gatos hay en el jardín? Espérenme, lo voy a enviar aquí en el Zoom. Ok, look at it. A ver si lo puedo ver. Uh -huh. Ahí lo puse. Ah. No, si la mejora se hace más borrosa. Hasta ahí llega, chicos. Hablamos así como a zoom. zoom. Sí, teacher, zoom. al hacerle zoom se ve muy borroso. Sí. Pero hay un, un donde sí llega y se mira más o menos. ¿sí? It says. Yeah, cats or cars. <laughs> es lo mismo. How many. Yeah? Uh -huh, exactly. How many cat, cats right, are there in the garden? Next one. Students. How many students. Exactly. How many students are in are there in the classroom? Okay, yes. next one, number three. How much milk How much? is there in the bottle? Bottle, yeah. Number four. How many, many eggs? How, How many, many eggs, eggs? eggs do you need for the cake? Yes. How many eggs do you need for the cake? There you go. Number five. How many, How many orange? How many orange juice do you drink? How much? How much? Yes. How much orange juice? Uh huh. Uh, do you drink a day? A uh, jugo. Yes, orange juice. Uh, juice, juice, juice. Yeah. Yes, orange yes. juice. Mm -hmm. How much money? Oh, exactly. Money. How much money do you earn a month? Okay. Do you earn, ayer aprendimos, every month or monthly? También se puede decir a month. Okay. Como decir cada mes, right? En un mes sería este a month. Yeah. Number seven. How many? How many? How many? Account? 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 Exactly. No tengan miedo. Lean la completa. Vamos. How many legs does a cow have? Right? How many legs, legs does a cow have? Does, does, does a cow have? Como lo entendamos, ah. porque, no, porque no lo leemos bien. <laughs> Okay, now number eight. How much? How, how much, much is you eat? Uh, breakfast. Correct. How much cheese? Right? How much cheese do you eat at breakfast? Mm -hmm. Number nine. How many how chickens, many chickens does you eat? Grandma, how many chicken does you, your uh, grandma have? Okay. Si fuera de comida este pollo, 
el pollo, pollo, como Ajá. comida, como el que está en la olla, ahí sí no se puede contar. Ahí es how much chicken, ¿ok? Ajá. A menos que usted pregunte por las piezas del pollo frito. Ahí sí, how many pieces. Pero está contando las piezas, no el pollo, ¿ya? Okay. Va, en este caso estamos contando los animalitos, ¿sí? Aquí sí es contable. There you go. How many chickens, en plural, does your grandma have? Ok. Y fijémonos que cuando es tercera persona usamos el does y el verbo va en forma base, ¿verdad? Va, seguimos. Number 10, let's continue. How many? How many? How many apples? How many apples are there in the basket? In the basket, yeah, in the basket. Mm -hmm. How many apples? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, okay, next. 11. How much? How much? How much time, do how we, much time for, do we have for the exam? For the exam. For the exam, okay. For Number twelve. How many rooms are there in the basement? How many rooms? Rooms is otro nombre de los que tenemos que tener conciencia que puede ser contable y puede ser incontable. Podemos contar cuando el significado es cuartos o salones o salas, ¿verdad? Rooms, ahí sí. Pero cuando decimos there is no much room, queremos decir no hay mucho espacio, ¿ok? No hay mucho espacio. Entonces, there is no room for you. Aquí no cabes tú, ¿ok? There is no room for you cuando usted no quiere a alguien en su casa. There is no room, pero no espacio. Okay. Entonces, allí no es contable, pero acá sí, porque estoy contando los cuartos de la casa. How many rooms are there in your house? Number 13. How much? Meat. Meat? Mm -hmm. How much? Yes, how much? Mm -hmm. How much meat do you meat? do you want How much from meat the butcher? Did you want from the, from the butcher. 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 Mm -hmm. The butcher is el carnicero. Okay. Butcher o the la carnicería. The butchers. Butchers es la carnicería. Okay. The okay. butcher. Es la persona que corta la carne, que incluso el que mata las reces, ¿verdad? O los animalitos, ¿ya? Yeah. Number 14 is how much. Number 13 is how much. Veamos, okay. eh, number 14. How, uh, how much? much? How much? do you eat how every much? day? Honey, right? Honey, miel. How honey. much honey? Honey. You eat every how day? How much honey do you eat? Eat every day. Uh-huh, exactly. Number 15. How many? Uh -huh. How many? How many? How many cities How many are there cities? in your country? How many cities are there in your country? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Number 16. How much water do you drink a day? Great, exactly. Number 17. How many pencils has David got? Exactly. Esta es una forma de decir tiene. Miren, es muy diferente a la que decimos eh, does David have, ¿verdad? Que es el americano. Esta forma que están viendo en la 17 es de inglés británico, ¿ok? Allá para la gente, o sea, la gente, para algo que posee, las posesiones de la gente, decimos has got, okay? has got. Y en vez de usar el does, el has se va al principio y el got se va al final, ¿ok? Esto es para conocimiento general, porque esa es una clase aparte de esa gramática, pero para que la conozcan, se las explico, ¿ok? Number 17, ajá. Uh -huh. How many pencils? No, ¿cómo quedaba la 17 again? 
How many pencils how many pencil has David, David got? got? Excellent. 18. How, how much homework do you have? We have do you have? Do we have how much homework? Yes. Number 19. How much sugar do you want for your tea? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much sugar? Do you, mm -hmm. le falta ahí, do you. Mm -hmm. All right. And the number 20. How many toys, cars are, are there in the baby's, baby's room? Baby's room. Mm -hmm. How many toy cars? ¿En dónde pongo el plural? No en toys, sino que en la última palabra que sería cars, ¿verdad? Toy yeah. aquí es como un adjetivo, no es como un nombre, ¿verdad? Pero el nombre completo sería toy car, ¿verdad? Toy car. Ese sería el nombre de un carro de juguete. Entonces, le ponemos el plural hasta cars, ¿ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí o is there any question so far? Is there any question so far? No? Otro, otro. Otro, 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 otro. Yeah. Y le van a mandar otro teacher. <ríe> Cuando digan, oh, otro, otro teacher va a venir. Bye. Ahorita entonces otro, ¿ok? Pero ahora yo les voy a hacer las preguntas. I'm going to ask the questions and you are going to give me the answers, ¿ok? And this is how much and how many review, okay? And here it is. We are going to talk about the count noun. So using how many, okay? And the first one, the first question, okay? The first question is, how many books do you read in a month? Mm -hmm. How many books I, do you I read, read in a month? Just give me one. Sorry, guys. I read. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Tell me, is that here? I read one book. In a month. Okay. All right, there you are. Number two. Eh, vamos a preguntarles a ustedes los demás. Vamos a ver. Guys, si yo no leo libros, ¿cómo respondería esto? I I don't I don't read reading. a book. Mm -hmm. I don't read a book. Don't me lo tira bien separado. I don't read, read a book. Eh, usualmente lo decimos en plural. I don't read books. Book. Okay. I don't read books. Mm -hmm. I don't I read books. Book. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Exactly. Y si yo solo leo la mitad de un libro, un pedacito, ¿cómo creen que lo decimos? I mean, read I books. Read. Half. I en, el, en el caso de los que preparamos, Half. cuenta eso. Half. Half. You have to, yeah, you have to, uh -huh. you have to read. I'm sorry, eh, me estaba diciendo ahí la respuesta, Walter, no, Francisco, dígame, again, I read. Half. Half. Walter decía, Walter. Walter era, ¿verdad? Sí, ok. Sí, Walter, Walter. Ok, I read half, half a book, la mitad de un libro. Okay, I read half a book in a month. Teacher, in okay. me, me, a book, no se puede. ¿Cómo? Así. Me, uh -huh. 
no en este caso, no. Este Ah, mid ah porque es más no para sé. medidas, es más para medidas el mid. Ah, es que en el trabajo solo se ocupamos como por mitad. Uh -huh. mm, ok, es una medida, ¿verdad? Ahí en su trabajo. Sí, Ajá, sí. o sea, la mitad de, del frasco, la mitad de algo que usted va a aplicar, ok. That's mid. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. ¿En dónde? Mid cabin la ocupamos. Como está forward cabin, mid cabin y up cabin. Ah, ok. The mid cabin. The mm -hmm. egg crown. Ok. Mm -hmm. But that's the position. The position, location. So, no. We are not using just... Uh, we, we usually say half a book. Yeah. Half a book. Ah, oh, okay, okay. All right. Pero ahí donde usted me lo dice es correctísimo, ¿ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, Está okay, en okay. medio de dos cosas. Well, it's in the middle. Yeah, it's in the middle. This is different. Moms, how many YouTube videos do you watch a day? Flor, how many YouTube videos do you watch a day? Yeah, um, a bit. I watch, I watch, um, how much, how, how much, many, how video. many, <laughs> a lot, a lot of videos, okay, I watch a lot of videos, I love the videos. yeah, uncountable, <laughs> you cannot count, <laughs> all right, infinite, okay, indefinite, infinite, All right. Uh, ¿Alguien quisiera contestar esta? How many YouTube videos do you watch a day? Usually, I, I don't watch videos I a day. I don't. I watch videos I don't today. Watch okay, great. YouTube videos. I don't watch YouTube. Le creemos. <laughs> Only TikTok. <laughs> solo, no, solo, solo, por, solo por responder. <laughs> okay, only Netflix. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, now I don't watch YouTube videos, I only watch TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> but this is one thing I don't watch YouTube videos, um, any videos a day. I watch YouTube videos a a, a lot of the uh, YouTube videos a night. Yeah, <laughs> that will be that will be a, a a good question for me. Not in the day, but at night. Yeah. All right, because usually during the day you are a you are working. Yeah. So, how many tortillas do you eat at each meal time, Diana? Um, I don't need tortillas. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, what do you eat then? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm, I just... don't eat tortillas. Okay, I don't eat tortillas. Aha, vamos a ver. ¿Quién me quiere contestar esta pregunta? Wants... Hair song. How many tortillas do you eat at each meal time? I see you are smiling. That's This sincero, is why. <laughs> I eat three tortillas. Three tortillas. Okay. I eat three tortillas. <laughs> At each meal time. At each. Oh my God. This is interesting. At each meal time. Meal time. So it means you eat nine tortillas a day. Is that correct? Ajá. ¿Ya? Vaya, si se come tres tortillas en cada comida, se come nueve tortillas al día, ¿ok? Nine tortillas a day. Yeah, great. You are my team. You are my team. Yeah. I love tortillas too. Ok, then. Uh, Yolanda, how many tortillas do you eat at each meal time? I uh, de vez en cuando. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. 
So you, you can say uh, one and another, one and another time like this, one and another time, okay? Mm -hmm. One and another time. One and another time I eat, how many? Uh, two two weekend, o sea, dos veces a la semana. I uh, but how many? Uh, how many tortillas? O sea, que como no todos los días, sino que algunos días. Or, sí, pero cuántas tortillas? How many tortillas? Una. One. Okay, I ate one tortilla. Ya veo que son bien saludables ustedes. Se cuidan el azúcar, uh -huh. chicos. Qué bueno. And in this case, we can use a house or no. Uh, can we use what? Half. Yeah, half a tortilla. Yes, of course. Yes, you can say that. Mm -hmm. A piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Change tortillas for pupusas. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. A ver si comen pupusas. <laughs> Las agarraron, chicas. No comen tortillas para comer pupusas. Okay, now I get it. I get it. How many pupusas do you eat a day, Jacqueline? <laughs> How many pupusas? <laughs> How much pupusa, Jacqueline? No, how many? How many pupusa? I really don't, don't eat pupusa for my... Estoy, eh, tengo un problema gástrico y las pupusas oh. no. Oh, Entonces, sorry for you. I know you are suffering about that. Okay, yeah. All pero right. si tengo tortilla, yo como dos al día. Okay, okay, good. Uh -huh. I eat... <laughs> Two tortillas a day. Very good. Mm -hmm. Tortillas. En inglés no se dice tortillas, se dice tortillas. Okay, tortillas. La doble L, donde sea, el gringo la va a leer como una sola. Okay? Como una sola. Ellos no tienen el Y con, como nosotros la doble L. Así que cuando les diga algún o alguien en inglés, tortillas, son las tortillas, ¿ok? Teacher, one question. Uh -huh. Y si como algunas veces, bueno, o sea, tortillas o pupusas, eh, uh -huh. se puede usar sometimes. Yes, of course. Sometimes I eat pupusas, sometimes I eat tortillas. Yes. Okay. Yes. No, uh, teacher, ahora resulta que todos son fitness con, por las <laughs> Very es, que no, es que no me han preguntado yeah. a mí, pero, pero mejor que no me pregunten. No, que ustedes comen cinco tortillas. <laughs> Lo mismo digo porque yo me como como más de diez al día. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, then you can say, I eat more than ten a day. I eat more than ten. Okay, I eat more than 10. Okay, more than 10 a day. I eat uh, five or, or six. Oh, <laughs> in, more in... <laughs> than, than, than. <laughs> Pero solo, solo en el almuerzo nada más. Ah, okay. Sergio, yeah, solo la encima. Ajá, ajá, so... Just the one upon, okay? Just the one upon, <laughs> yeah? Just the one upon, yeah? And then it goes the whole rimero, right? Dos coras, dos coras. Oh, my God. Si es frita, yo soy feliz. If it is a fried tortilla, oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. okay. But fried, fried Salvadoran tortilla, because another tortilla... Maybe Guatemala or any other, I don't like it fried. But Salvadoran is so delicious, right? Is okay, soap. guys. Uh -huh, uh -huh. How many buses do you ta take to get to your workplace? Do you get to your job by bus? How many buses do you take to get to your workplace? 
Yo voy en moto, teacher. Ok, then you can say, I, Ahí le fallé. Don't take I don't any take bus. Any bus. Mm -hmm. Any buses. Any buses. Yo no tomo ningún bus. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't take any buses. I ride my motorcycle. Motorcycle. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. And who goes by bus? Who goes by bus? Who takes a bus here? So I you take a bus. I, teacher. Okay, how many buses do I you take, take? I take uh one bus. Okay, I take one bus. So it's near, right? I take one bus. Me too. Okay. I take one, but sometimes if I I go late, I take two. Oh, okay. So you change the route to okay to 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 make sure your route. All right, nice. Mm -hmm. And let's see, how many students are there in your English class? How many students are there in your English class? There are twenty one. Again, again. There are there are twenty one. Uh, okay. Uh huh. There and are. I... There are 21 students in the class. Are you sure 21? 21. Uh, 21 participants, but Participant. one is the teacher, so there are 20. Okay. okay. There are 20, 20 students, okay. one teacher. Yes, exactly. There are 20, there are 20 students. 20 students. Mm -hmm. And, students and, and one in my English class. Okay, in my English class. Bien, aquí yo esperaba que me dijera alguien, eh, we are, okay, we are. No se dice we are cuando hablamos de personas. Por ejemplo, usted va a la Pizza Hut, ya, yeah? y en la Pizza Hut le preguntan, ¿meso para cuántos? Ya, yeah? entonces... Uh, for how many, verdad? Table for how many or room for how many? Entonces decimos there are twenty of us. Okay, there are twenty of us. Esto es lo que nosotros diríamos en español. Somos veinte. Okay, somos veinte. Uh -huh. No podemos decir we are. Vamos a decir there are twenty of us. Si me incluyo, ¿verdad? Y si me preguntan, mira, ¿y cuántos son ellos? Pues, there are 20 of them. Okay, of them, de ellos. Okay? Hay que tener ese cuidado ahí. Now, the last question. How many employees are there in your company? How many employees are there in your company? In my company, teacher. Mm -hmm. There are eight employees. Okay. There are eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Employees. Okay. What about in yours, Walter? In my workplace, maybe this uh, 500 or more. Okay. No, baby. Then, okay, you can say around, around 500. Okay. Around, around 500. Mm -hmm. 500. Yeah. Okay, great. And uh, Jenny, what about yours? O sea, en general o con los compañeros que trabajamos, digamos, en el área? No, in your company. Um, All company. Mm -hmm. Sería quizás, no sé, they are around um, 500 igual. 500, okay, great. Mm -hmm. So it's a very big Muchos, company. Yes. And now, how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? How many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Mm, no se ve la pregunta. 
Maybe. Pero sí la entendieron, three. ¿verdad? Sí. How many cups not. of coffee do you drink a day? I drink three cups of coffee a day. Okay, great. Uh -huh. I don't like coffee. Don't you? Oh, my goodness. Hey, no coffee, no tortillas. Puro chicken. Puro chicken. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Yeah. So, how many cups of coffee do you drink in the morning? In the morning. Just in the morning. Well, a day, Walter drinks three cups, right? A day. I, so, I one drink. in the morning. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, a day, three, three cups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One in well, the morning. Okay. In the morning. Mm -hmm. In the morning. At noon or in the afternoon and in the morning, evening. I or... drink one cup of coffee. Okay. Oops. Solo una por la costumbre nomás. Okay. The attendant teacher. <gasps> Se me pasó. Thank you very much for reminding me. Pero es que ya ve que nos, nos divertimos bastante. Bueno, vamos a ver entonces. Let's do that, please. Everybody, remember, we have to call the attendants and remember the requirements. The requirements are that you have to um, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, remember to say present. Okay, there we go. So let's do it quickly. Adriana Elisa Chavez Lopez. Present chair. Okay. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez Arevalo. Present. Flor de Maria Valladares de Torres. Present teacher. Okay. Francisco Javier Quintero Echeverría. Present teacher. Okay. Gerson Osvaldo Vera Santana. Present teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo de Sura. Jacqueline? No Jacqueline tonight? Juan Carlos? Presentation. <laughs> okay, there you are. I'm sorry, Jacqueline. Eh, ¿Saben qué? Háganme un favor grande en este mero momento. Todos váyanse sobre su video. Ven que les aparece dos, eh, dos botoncitos azules cuando ustedes mueven su mouse. ¿Ya? En el que tiene tres puntitos, pongan ahí rename o renombrar, por favor, y me colocan su nombre completo. Los que están de teléfono no les va a dar esa opción. Les va a dar la opción, pónganme atención los que tienen teléfono, que están desde teléfono, van a ir a participantes, le dan clic en participantes y le despliega la lista de todos los que estamos acá. Se pone en su nombre y me pone renombrar. Y me pone su nombre completo, tal como se ha inscrito, tal como le aparece en su DUI. Por favor, necesito eso en este instante. Y sí, siempre, no encuentro siempre, los tres puntos azules. Eh, no, son blancos los puntos, pero el botón es azul. Ajá, entonces, ¿usted solo está en teléfono o en computadora? En computadora, en acto. Ah, vaya, entonces mueva así eh, su mouse, ¿verdad? Y mira que aparecen dos botones encima de las caritas. ¿Sí? Uno dice ask to unmute, ¿ya? Yeah? Y el otro okay. tiene los tres sí, puntos. Sí. Ok, ahí. Pónganme, por favor, su nombre completo. Gracias. Desde el teléfono dice cambiar nombre. Ahí le... Yes. En esa opción. En esa opción. Okay. Uh -huh. Ahí, cabal. Y así se van a, a conectar siempre, ¿ok? Por favor, porque a la hora de hacer el match, eh, así nos estamos buscando y viendo. Y aparte, va a coincidir. Mira, va a coincidir con el listado. Vale, vamos a ver entonces. Ahorita regreso a la lista. A ver, estábamos con don Juan Carlos, ¿verdad? Don Juan sí. Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Uh -huh. Dígame. Present. Ok. Very good. Present. All right. Eh, le voy a cambiar ahí su nombre. Le vamos a poner el otro apellido. 
el otro apellido era Alfaro, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Ahí está. Ahora sí. Tenemos Karen Gemina Membreño. Present. Ok, thank you. Oh, sí. eh, Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos. Miss Carla. Present. Ok. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda Díaz. Present. María Fernanda Morán Rivas. Present. Merari Andrea Sánchez Facundo. Present. Ok. Salomón Heriberto Rivera Chacón. Present. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Girón. Present. Walter Amilcar Ramírez Molina. Present. Y Sofía Orellana Calderón. Present. Villanet Baires Rojas. Present. Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. Present. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present, teacher. Ok, muy bien. Vamos a ver entonces lo que seguía, ¿sí? Ahorita seguimos ya con the negative things. Ah, ok. Primero, ¿qué es lo que queremos hablar y qué es lo que queremos decir en este día? Fíjense que tenemos una lectura de una carta. En esta carta es una carta de bienvenida. ¿sí? Es una carta de bienvenida. Pero quiero que primero escuchen. ¿okay? No les voy a presentar la carta. Ahorita ustedes van solo a escuchar. Y después de escuchar, yo les voy a hacer unas preguntas. ¿Ok? Así que pongámosle atención a las preguntas. En este momento les voy a pasar preguntitas. Ok. Vale. Fíjense bien en cuáles son las responsabilidades que le dan a esta persona. ¿Cuál es el salario que va a recibir por semana y por mes? ¿Verdad? Monthly or weekly. También fíjense en las vacaciones. Vacation. Y también fíjense en holidays, the public holidays, ¿ok? A ver qué dice esta carta, ¿sí? Le, eh, escuchemos. Fíjense, al, al lo más central, fíjense a quién va dirigida, ¿ok? Y al final, quién la firma. Pongámosle así, ojo, a todo, ¿ok? Attention. Pay attention. Travers Incorporated, for a better future, dear employee, welcome to Travers Incorporated. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please. Read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominique Sanchez. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties, have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations, two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary. $440,000 per month plus bonus. Good luck. Mark Travers, CFO. A ver, ¿cómo fue su experiencia ahorita solo escuchando? Vamos a ver. Cuéntenme, por favor, comenten. ¿Qué sintieron? Very fast. 
Perdón, Gerson dice very fast. Walter dice. Again, please. Ah, ok. It was fast. Ajá. Y Diana, ¿qué me decía? Yes, a little bit fast. A little bit fast. Actually, it's normal speed. Esa es una velocidad normal. Fast, no la alcanzamos, ¿sí? Pero esta es una velocidad normal. Alguien leyendo, ¿sí? Leyendo normal. Vale. Para así como una pequeña, eh, eh, ¿cómo decir? Evaluación. ¿Qué palabras escucharon? ¿Qué sí lograron escuchar? ¿Qué lograron entender? Así, a simple. The name. Travel. Travel. Salud. Vacation. Vacation. Holiday. Junior manager. Junior manager. Junior manager. Junior manager. Junior Her name. Wendy Her name. Denise. Glenda. Glenda. Sánchez. El otro nombre no. Dominic. 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 Okay. Uh, do you want to listen to that again? Again. Yes, please. Okay. Just once and then we read it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Travers Incorporated, for a better future, dear employee, welcome to Travers Incorporated. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please, read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominique Sanchez. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties, have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations. Two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary. $440,000 per month plus bonus. Good luck. Mark Travers, CFO. Great. Mm -hmm. Better? Le están dando la bienvenida a un empleado de la empresa y están presentando eh, los puestos y cuánto va a ganar y los días de holidays. Okay. Por ahí va la cosa. All right. Can we say that in English? Let's try. Pongámoslo en orden en inglés, ¿ok? Ajá. Uh -huh. It's a welcome letter, right? It's a welcome letter to the company, right? She is a new, a new employee. She is a new employee. Continuemos, a ver. Subject verb complement, everybody. Her name is Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Sanchez. Okay. Mm -hmm. And your, your job? Her job? Her job, ¿cómo sería? Her job um, is a manager senior manager it's junior creo si no me equivoco es junior, junior manager yes, junior manager junior sales manager okay junior sales manager exactly and what are the key duties duties responsibilities very weak again a meeting? a meeting every week. Okay, great. That's one of the duties. Uh huh. What Contact else? With customers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Contact with customers. Uh huh. Take orders in the telephone. Okay, on the telephone. Uh -huh. And how much is the salary she's going to get? Two thousand dollars. Four thousand. Okay. Well, we were going to see. Four hundred forty 
There is one single mistake in this reading, okay? You are going to see the letter and you are going to check which is the mistake, okay? You are going to see the mistake. So now I will present, I will present the letter. And we are going to read along, okay? Read along significa que usted lo escucha y lo va leyendo con la vista, all right? Here we are. Travers Incorporated, for a better future, dear employee. Welcome to Travers Incorporated. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please, read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominique Sanchez. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties, have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations. Two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary. $440,000 per month plus bonus. Good luck. Mark Travers, CFO. Okay. Now you got it, right? Ahora sí ya lo cacharon todo. ¿Verdad qué bonito hacer primero el listening? Okay. Now let's answer the questions. Let's answer the questions. I will get the questions in, from the page 15 in your manual. Okay. Page 15 in your manuals. Okay, so number one, well, let's read the instructions first. Read the sentences, say if they are true or false, okay? Say if they are true or false. Uh, please read the number one, Jenny. Read. Is true. No, no, just read. Read the sentence. Ah, que lo lea. Uh -oh. Ah, okay. Yes, read. Mm -hmm. Domini speaks to clients in her new job. Okay. Is it true or is it false? Everybody? True. true. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's true. Good. What about number two? Walter, please read it. Okay. Her salary is 100 per week. Mm -hmm. uh, true or false? False. 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 false? Okay. False. How much false. is her salary? How much is her salary? 100. No, per week. Look at per For week. 100. Forty dollars per month. Mm -hmm. Más bonus. One hundred ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, one hundred and ten dollars. Good, good math. Mm -hmm. You did the math very well. Thank you, Diane. Okay, Dominique gets a yearly vacation. Is it true or false? True. Mm hmm. How many two. days? Two, two. Two, two weeks week per year. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two. Plus? Public holidays. Per year. Two. Okay. Two. Uh -huh. So, 15 days, right? 15 days per year plus the public holidays. Right? That's by the law. She has to work on holidays. Is that true or is that false? False. 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 
Okay. Oh. He has vacation, right? He has a vacation. All right, people. Did you find the mistake? Did you find the mistake? From the reading and the listening? Okay, let's listen to that again and then we will see, okay? Pay attention if you find out the, uh, the mistake. Travers Incorporated, for a better future, dear employee, welcome to Travers Incorporated. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please, read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominique Sanchez. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties, have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations. Two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary. $440,000 per month plus bonus. Good luck. Mark Travers, CFO. Okay, there you are. Did you find the mistake? Yes. Which is? Which is the uh, mistake? In the salary. Uh huh. What is the, the mistake? Uh, 440,000. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But she's just junior, right? So she can get thousands. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was the mistake. Thank you very much for noticing. Okay, then uh, we are going to continue with the use of these uh, auxiliary verb. También pueden encontrarlo como helping verbs. Helping verbs. Verbos de ayuda. Auxiliares. Auxiliary verb. Does for the third person, right? Does not equals doesn't when we contract, when we, we make it shorter. Then, for example, in the affirmative, she writes letters monthly. He checks his email every day. Now we have in the negative, she doesn't y cambio el verbo a la forma base, base form. She doesn't write letters monthly. He doesn't check his email every day, all right? So let's try transforming these sentences into negative, okay? Let's transform these sentences into negative. Mario likes working on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Negative. Mario, Mario don't, don't don't like. likes working like. on Saturdays. Don't like. Mario don't like. Doesn't. Tercera persona, third person. Doesn't. Mario doesn't. doesn't. Mm -hmm. Working like. on Saturdays. Like work on like Sundays. Saturdays. So. Okay. Mm hmm. So here we are. <clears throat> okay, let's try to move just a little. Find this. There you are. Next one. <clears throat> mm 
my college don't eat lunch together. Okay. Esta palabra se pronuncia colleagues. Colleagues, colegas, colleagues. compañeros de trabajo. Colleagues. Colleagues. My colleagues don't eat lunch together. All right. Mm -hmm. Because it's plural, right? We use don't. My we. colleagues. My, they. Don't. They. Mm -hmm. They do. They don't. They don't eat lunch. Lunch together. Como dijo que le decía college. College. No, no. Colleagues. Con the. The. Colleagues. Colleagues. Okay. Colleagues. 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 Este es como he. The. Colleagues. What about Julio and Pedro? Julio and Pedro don't. Organize the weekly meetings. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't because it's they, don't, right? Don't organize. 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 Organize the weekly meeting. Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> uh, and... The next one. My sister has a car. My sister mm -hmm. doesn't has a car. Okay. Doesn't is. have. My sister doesn't. Doesn't have, 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 a, have car. a car. A car. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about my father? My father, my brother, they father. don't play soccer don't. every Sunday. Yes. Um, every Sunday. Okay. Hello. Hello, hello. Que por ahí se oye algo, una conversación privada. Alguien tiene activado el micrófono. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. So let's continue. This is the way to um, This is not the one I wanted to show. Okay. Let's go to the, oh, sorry, to the manual. <clears throat> so we are going to talk about how many days a week do you work and what are your work perks, okay? We want to talk about financial information and work perks, okay? So, let's put these in some uh, context, okay? Work perks, those are the benefits, okay? The benefits you receive extra, not just the low benefits, but extra benefits. Do you have extra benefits in your job? Yes, I have a bonus. Bonus. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Plus bonus. 
Only one room. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the objective now will be to talk about financial information and work cards, but in the context of negative sentences. Okay. And affirmative too. But let's look at these questions. Listen to me and um, I will read the conversation. Then you are going to practice. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. All right. I will read it slowly. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, let's listen to um, Adriana and look at someone here. Salomon, are you there? I am here. Okay, then Ben is Salomon and Adriana is Jeff, all right? Okay, okay, you can call your names. Pueden usar sus nombres, all right? There you go. Okay. You can initiate, teacher. You. You are Ben. Okay. Okay. Jeff, how are you? Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, huh? Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week and you? That's great. I work for weekday and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes. Work extra work extra hour. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Work extra hours when there is the most work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. Is there any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Okay, just notice, notice please, that we have weekdays, okay, y tenemos también days a week, okay, 
days a week es días a la semana. And weekdays son los días de semana. Ok. Weekdays son los días de semana. Lo contrario a weekends. Ok. Sí. Weekdays, días de semana. Days a week, días a la semana. Entonces veamos, how many days a week does eh, Jeff work? He works five days a week. Five days a week. Yeah, five <laughs> days a week. Pero viene Ben, ¿cuántos días trabaja Ben? How many days does Ben work? A week. Four weekdays. Four weekdays. Okay. And sometimes on Saturdays, right? So four and one, five, right? Five days a week. Five days a week. Pero trabaja cuatro días de semana, pero también uno de fin de semana. ¿sí? Veamos cómo eso tiene la diferencia. ¿sí? Bien, esos son work parts. ¿sí? Esos son work parts. For example, the extra hours and so on. Ok. So. We have 9.42. Allow me to see if we can get Okay, then, do you work extra hours? Do you work extra hours in no. your job? Sometimes. No. Do you work extra hours? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, tenemos que responder. No solo podemos responder con no. Por lo menos ahorita que estamos aprendiendo... Acostumbremos nuestro cerebro a ubicar el auxiliar con el que me están preguntando, ¿sí? Eso me va a facilitar más adelante en lo que vaya yo aprendiendo. Ahorita es importante dar la respuesta completa, como que fuera del libro. No, I don't. Okay. Do, you do you work extra hours? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Do you have, yes, I do. okay, who, who works extra hours? Diana? Sometimes. Right. Do they pay the extra hours or are they paid? Um, they give me the time. In the uh, they compensate. Mm -hmm. They compensate the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. A compensation time, it's good, right? You can get some days off. Yeah, instead of the extra hours. All right. Yeah, you can um, arrive late. Yeah, or you can leave early. Is that? Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. mm. Those are work perks because not all the companies offer that to their employees. Okay. Not all the companies do that. So I just want you to go to the platform please okay go to the platform in this very moment yeah he Okay, and you go to the class of today, yeah? Mm, simple present negative statements. And go scroll down, go.
go to the discussion, okay, were parents. There you have a reading activity. Click on the link and read the article. Then make a list of the work perks you have in your company and which ones you don't, okay? Which ones you don't have, all right? So please, everybody, uh, click on that link. Click on that link. I cannot show it either. Los que tienen su device en español, pónganle traducir a la página porque no lo vamos a leer en español, ¿verdad? Los que tienen en inglés su device, ya de por sí les va a aparecer en inglés. All right. Y ven que hay unos headlines, ¿verdad? Hay unos títulos en grande. Ahí. Unos de los work perks very important son timely payments. Yeah? Timely payment. Payment of holidays and days off. Right? Overtime. Extra hours and overtime. Es lo mismo. Okay? Extra hours and overtime. Fuera de su hora, usted trabaja, es overtime. Compensation for dismissal or resignation. Okay? Pregnancy leave, pregnancy leave, eh, la incapacidad por eh, embarazo, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, cuando ya tiene el bebé, maternidad, bonuses, bonuses, eh, you call maternity leave también, maternity leave, and so on. Estas son las de ley, digamos, about employee benefits in El Salvador. Estas son como las de el labor code, ¿verdad? Labor code. ¿Ya sí, las sure. vieron por ahí? Uh -huh. eh, ¿Qué es lo que está viendo? En la plataforma yo le he compartido un link. Usted le va a dar clic al link. Y usted lo va a ver ahí, porque yo no lo puedo mostrar acá por los copyrights, ¿verdad? Y luego usted va a hacer la actividad que dice ahí. En la plataforma, en la viñeta de discusión. ¿Llegamos todos? Bueno. Teacher, no se le escucha. No se escucha. Ok, son información clave. Esto no es para leer todo el eh, detalle. Y no vamos a buscar en diccionario, ni transcribiendo, ni trans... Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, ni tampoco trasladando. ¿Cómo es? Translating. Traduciendo. sino que vamos a ver información específica. What are the key benefits? Y usted va a hacer el listado de los que usted sí tiene y los que no. 
¿Cómo lo va a hacer? Con oraciones. Oraciones negativas y oraciones afirmativas. Which ones you have and which ones you don't have. Are you there yet? Teacher, uh -huh. eh, fíjese que tengo ahorita un, un asunto urgente que atender. ¿Será que puedo salir mañana? Y yo la tarea la hago a la mano. Uh, sí, solo que le va a afectar su, su attendance, ¿verdad? Entonces me voy a quedar como oyente porque sí tengo que atender okay. esto. Ajá. O sea, no puedo estar ahorita aquí, necesito atender la llamada. Bye. ¿Cómo van todos? ¿Ya le dieron el reply? Ahí abajito ustedes van a escribir su listado de cosas que sí y cosas que no tienen. Beneficios laborales. Work hurts. Teacher siempre era en el cuadro de discusión. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teacher, what is the meaning for compensa compensation for dismissal or resignation? Uh -huh. That they give you lo que se llama indemnización. Ellos le, le van a pagar su tiempo. ¿Ya? Yeah? Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh.
करता है Vamos bien. Yet. Mientras están en eso, voy a pasar lista, ¿ok? I will take the attendance, so please, everybody, uh, be ready. Adriana Lisa Chávez López. Present teacher. Ok. Diana Elizabeth Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Present. Ok. Flor de María Valladares de Torres. Teacher. Present teacher. Ok. Francisco Javier Quinteros Echeverría. Present teacher. Gerson Osvaldo Dera Santana. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo de Sura. Present teacher. Okay. Jacqueline, ah, she's as a listener right now. Uh, Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Present. Okay. Karen Gemima, Gemina Membreño. Present. Okay. Carla Nayeli. Machado Ramos. Present. Ok. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda Díaz. Present. María Fernanda Morán Rivas. Present. Merari Andrea Sánchez Facundo. Present. Salomón Heriberto Rivera Chacón. Present. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Girón. Present. Walter Amilcar Ramírez Molina. Present. Wendy Sofía Orellana Calderón. Wendy Janet Baires Rojas. I am here, teacher. Okay. Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. Present. 
Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok. Aprovecho para preguntarles cómo vamos con las tareas. I'm here, teacher. Ok, thank you, Jacqueline. Yeah, we understood. Um, ¿Por qué mañana Go. tiene que estar subida hasta la número 5? Uh -huh. Mañana tiene I'm que estar sorry. subida. Tell me. I'm sorry, I'm mute. Oh, Wendy Sofía. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, I'll check you in already. Just one second. Orellana Calderón, right? Wendy, Sofía Orellana Calderón. Okay, yes. thank you. All right, people. Mm -mm. ¿Cómo vamos con las tareas? ¿Alguna situación que hayan encontrado que quieran preguntar así rapidito? Ya son las 10 y 2, pero hay que ver eso. Mañana tiene que estar subido todo. Y usted puede trabajar en adelantado. No se detenga, por favor. No esté esperando al último momento. ¿Ok? Porque después se le va a acumular y no va a salir a tiempo. Va a estar corriendo y nervioso y sudando por las tareas. Así que no puede ser, ¿verdad? Hay que disfrutarlo, reírnos y gozarla bien. Las tareas. ¿Ok? Bien. Okay, Tomorrow okay. you have to, you have to uh, uh, submit up to number five. Por lo menos, ¿verdad? Hasta el número cinco. Okay, people, then you have enough time to do that. En su tiempo libre, ustedes lo terminan, pero me lo suben. Okay, me lo suben. ¿Qué es lo que hay que hacer? Oraciones afirmativas y negativas de las cosas, de los eh, beneficios laborales que usted tiene y los que no tiene. Okay, ahí tienen una guía y váyanse con la información que está en negrita y en grande. Okay. ¿Estamos bien, jóvenes? Una pregunta, dos preguntas, tres, ¿no? No, teacher. Okay. ok. Entonces, la sesión uno a uno está abierta, ¿verdad? Para la número, el número cuatro. En este caso, no, ¿verdad? ¿Qué día es hoy? Cuatro, sí. Eh, Francisco Javier Quinteros Echeverría. Ay. Se quedó, I ¿verdad? Get yesterday. Yeah, he stayed yesterday. Yeah, that's true. Gerson Osvaldo Dera Santana. Do you want to stay tonight? Eh, ahora lo voy a hacer. Eh, no, no, I mean, eh, ah. que si quisiera quedarse a alguna consulta, alguna no, no, duda no. que tenga. No, no. No. Ok, entonces él se de ahorita, eh, hace cambio con alguien. Vamos a ver quién quisiera quedarse el día de hoy. El que sigue en la lista es Jacqueline Xiomara. No está Jacqueline conectada, ¿verdad? No, no, teacher, pero es que no puedo. Es que estoy atendiendo algo que es urgente ahorita. I understand, I understand. Ok. Y yo que aquí me van a dejar con los tamales de lote, no. No, Gerson, no, no, usted no, que se come cuatro tortillas. <ríe> <ríe> y hoy que habíamos hecho tortilla frita con queso, ¿no? Y fresquito el queso. Va, este, vamos a ver. Nadie de verdad se quiere quedar. Levante la mano con confianza el que se quiera quedar. Se trabó el Zoom, creo yo. <ríe> ya todos así, este teacher. No, pero es, es tiempo importante que deben de aprovechar. Que conste que se los ofrecí, ¿ok? Bye, bye. Have a very good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Wendy, ¿usted se quiere quedar? No, coach. No. Ah, oh. oh, ok, ok. <laughs> All right, no problem.
Ok, lo voy a cerrar yo, Wendy. Don't worry. <laughs>